Hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. It has been really hot here in North Idaho, so I hope you guys are staying cool. Funny story, another reason that I'm not sharing videos is because I can't. Um, my phone camera, when you turn the camera on, it like makes this hideous vibrational sound and the camera is just vibrating like insanely so I can't take pictures and I can't do video from that angle so I'm trying to work with the camera um, otherwise until um, a new phone is sent my way thank goodness for warranties but I wanted to share something with you and I wanted to talk to you today about you know you, you hear me talking about how we use antiques all the time and also um, many of them are heirloom antiques. Um, they were grandfathers, great-grandfathers, family members, etc. I have many of those kinds of things in my home. The mountain man has many of those things in his shop um, and, and the ones in the shop were both his great-grandfathers and even mine and it's so awesome to have those things. I treasure handmade gifts because I guess the best way to describe that is because it's kind of an heirloom skill that is being handed down. You know, oftentimes when people gift you with something, um, it's a talent they learned and that was handed down to them or they learned because they desired to, um, but they're older skills and um, these things take time and a lot of thought you know when somebody makes you a handcrafted gift it's typically because thought went into it for that individual right and uh, I personally love learning new skills all the time I've learned how to knit socks over the last 12 years thank you miss Helen and I learned how to knit um, dishcloths um, thank you miss Pat and I, I love doing those things like I'm the kind of person that when I'm sitting down to listen to something I don't sit down often to begin with but when I am oftentimes it's nice to be able to still be doing something with my hands you know I love to be able to knit draw whatever and just do something additional there are also times where I really like to just melt on the couch and not do a darn thing and just kind of melt into a movie. You know, we all have those moments. So it's not like we're, you know, I'm constantly doing something, but it's nice to do those things, especially when you, know, you hit the winter months and you're listening to a podcast or you're, you're watching church even on Sunday and you can be like knitting a pair of socks while you're doing that or working on a pair of leather moccasins or working on jewelry. I, I like to be able to do those things. And I love learning those new skills. So um, I've I've always known how to crochet, but my crocheting is a little bit to be desired. And I've actually been um, working on that today with a little bit of purpose. I'm working on some new stitching. I'm making a just a square hot pad that I can put on my counter. But I'm I'm learning new stitches, and I'm doing this to tighten my. Um, my stitches as well and just um, get a little more consistent with my stitching because come this winter um, I know how to make socks I know how to make shoes so now I want to learn how to make clothing I am going to be working on um, a couple sweaters and um, just preparing for those months a while also stocking up on the things that I'm gonna need to be able to do those crafts so it's no different than us stocking up on our food right now you know the, yarn and different things are are some things that we should be stocking up on and 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 fabric so that if we need to we can be making our own clothing and varying things that we may need in and throughout our home so with that being said i am, am doing this video today not also to remind you of those things but also to show you something that I was gifted and I'm like so excited. It never fails. I get on a video and Copper's got to eat and she's like a horse. I'm sure you can hear her chomping. Okay, again, I'm utilizing this camera and having to work with it. Um, and, and if you don't know how to do these things but you desire to learn, there's so much free information on 
YouTube. I wanted to make some sashes to wrap around my hair and to braid into my hair. So I have yarn coming and I found a free pattern and uh, there's, there's free patterns all over the internet and then you get the free pattern and you're not sure exactly what it means. So you look up what those things mean and find, you know, instructional videos on how to do those things. I just keep chasing it until I figure it out. I want to learn these things. And if I don't have somebody to, here to teach me, grandma Trier would teach me in a heartbeat. She's already laughed at my um, lack of consistency because she was trying to teach me how to do doilies. I've never made anything that tiny and small and tight and my uh, stitching is, uh, has a lot to be desired. But speaking of Grandma Trayer, thank you Grandma. I am so tickled with this. I got a package in the mail last week and I had no idea what was coming. I just was told to look for it and I was gifted this beautiful I'm gonna just I'm gonna try to get it on the screen this is just a lap quilt so you know you just put it over your lap when you're watching TV or sitting drinking your coffee and I'm just gonna kind of lift this up this is fabric that they use to make some of different clothing items and these are these are scrap pieces and I just I love that now the whole back is the brown like it's like a kind of like a brownish oatmeal. I really like it. I love the colors, but the back is all the same color. But I am, I just love this. I love this. I love this. So thank you, Grandma Trayer, from the bottom of my heart because there is nothing more precious to me than these homemade gifts because, you know, what makes it nice is that when you're using it, you think of the person who gave it to you and who took all that time this takes so much time and this is something that she has done I don't know I don't know when she started doing her quilts but Grandpa Trayer had built her a loom that was like massive that was in in their one room and and she was she has been making quilts for a long long time but this is just beautiful the hand the the time that goes into these and the handiwork and I just this is this is a treasure this is an absolute treasure for me and um, to have something that grandma made as well is just a treat um, she makes me doilies from time to time and I am so thankful these actually go over my um, dresser drawer here I have a dresser that kind of helps organize things in our tiny house and I put these over the dresser drawer and then close it so half is on the inside half is on the outside I just think that looks really pretty and she's she's made me runners and um, all kinds of really amazing I mean but look at her I mean she's so talented I love this this is my eventually grandma I'm gonna get there I've got a lot of work um, I'm still pretty loose on my stitching of course I am using what is this um, a J yeah so it's a pretty big needle funny story um, my uh, crochet needles are in a trunk in the container and I can't get to them so I had to order another set of them so I have my smaller ones available to me but but thank you grandma and I do intend to learn how to do these but it is going to be a deadly thing because I have a linen fetish I love doilies um, I am such a mountain woman, but there is something about the delicacy and, and, and that of these, uh, these, these doilies, you can see, you guys see me wearing a lot of clothing like that. It's just, I, I love that look. So thank you, grandma. I really appreciate it. And I just want to encourage you guys to step out and learn these skills you know I was working on I'll show you these in another video when I get the other camera because it's really hard to show you what I did in the kitchen but I've added some shelving in the kitchen and I had taken down the curtain it's been there a year now and it needed to be washed and I took it down and when I took it down it was like it got so bright in the kitchen really made a difference and I like that brightness in here so I'm going to crochet a balance for the top so that it's not blocking so much light but that it looks nice so um, that is another reason why I'm practicing today because I want to start working on that next week um, so when we learn how to do all these things 
you know, I looked online to buy a valance. I'm not, I don't want to spend 45 or 50 bucks on a small little valance. And it's not that I don't think that it's worth that. Um, it, it's really worth that. It takes a lot of time. I mean, it's actually honestly worth more than that, but I'm frugal and I want to learn how to do this stuff. So I can just, you know, when I'm sitting here, um, I can, I can do these things and, um, the winter's coming. So it's a great thing to do in the winter months, but learn these skills, you know, um, Grandma Treyer made a, I was looking up at our wedding picture. And again, if I, well, I think I can show you maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to see. That in my hair, she made a um, piece for me that I could put in my hair. Um, and I want to, I'm making those that are really long so that I can actually braid it through my hair and then tie it off at the end of my braid. And um, so, you know, there's purpose in everything that I'm work, working on, sorry. Um, but learning these skills and knowing how to do these things is a priceless thing. And we're, you know, we are in uncertain times and I think it's very valuable information you know especially making wool socks and wool sweaters who knows what's ahead for us so being able to make our own clothing and our own shoes I will have more on that because I'm working on my pair of moccasins and they're super easy to make um, they're just a little time-consuming um, but I, I love I love doing that too so anyway I will share more with you just seek to learn these skills teach your kids these skills you know these are good crafts for kids to learn and work on and and you know make bookmarks or dishcloths or hot pads you know being able to do things like that and to keep making them they can make them as gifts they can make them and sell them you know you can do the same but you know being able to whip something up real quick so that you have it and and you don't have to go buy it is is a valuable thing so anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care, stay safe, keep seeking God. God bless.